these double shifts? We're at war with the Eternal Empire. You don't like it. Roman cars. I clung to this world for too long before I cast it aside as a failed experiment. You abandon everything you create. Not everything. Zakul succeeded in ways Droman cars never could. This is the empty husk I left behind. But the Sith could still be a useful tool to help you seize the Eternal Throne. Honored guests, welcome to Dromund Kass. Moff Lorman. It's Minister Lorman now. Really? I figured your career was over after you lost the Ascendant Spear. This story sounds too good to pass up. Back in my SIS days, I may have blown up a prototype Sith warship. Lorman was the deputy commander. It's Minister Lorman, and the past is irrelevant. I serve Empress Asina now. She awaits us in the throne room. Welcome, Commander. These are strange times. Did you ever imagine the Sith would negotiate with a Jedi? I hope you're able to move beyond your prejudice. In the past, arrogance would have blinded us to our flaws. Now we understand admitting weakness is the first step in eliminating it. I urge you not to be so critical, Empress. The Sith Empire has always been glorious. I would like to continue this conversation on my personal shuttle. Just the two of us, speaking freely. It may not be wise to split up. Be ready if anything happens. And keep an eye on Lorman. It's Minister Lorman! Minister Lorman! Is that so hard to remember? Don't worry about us, Commander. Alliance. Better than bowing down to the Eternal Empire, right? I remember when everyone used to bow down to us. Those days are gone. For now. Sith who do not approve of the alliance I offer. 
They hold tight to the old ways. But to stop Valin, we must work together. Taking her down is all that matters. I welcome any help I can get. This does not end with Valin. We both know there is only one path to victory. You want to seize the Eternal Throne, and I will help you. I want nothing to do with the throne. You hardly have a choice. Unchecked, Valin will grind us into dust. I am not powerful enough to stop her. You are, with my help. Engine's non-responsive. We need to bring it down. We're coming in too fast. Bail out! Your skills are impressive, Commander. It's good to know your reputation is not exaggerated. That crash was no accident. My vessel was sabotaged. Probably the same person jamming our comm signals. Lorman's behind this. I know it. Lorman lacks both the courage and competence to orchestrate a direct attempt on my life. My shuttle has an emergency beacon. The signal shall cut through any interference. If help is coming, that's where they'll be. Just about into the main network. Someone's coming. Forgive the intrusion, but I come bearing tragic news. The Empress's shuttle has crashed. Crashed? Where? Somewhere in the jungle. Unfortunately, the emergency locator is not transmitting. That's... Uh, that's impossible. Not if the shuttle disintegrated. I'm afraid there's only one logical conclusion. The Empress and Commander are dead. Stay alert. Deadly predators stalk these wilds. You could say the same thing about your cities. City predators won't eat our remains. Usually. Feel my wrath!
storms are fierce today, it will make a rescue attempt difficult. I never liked relying on others to save me anyway. A sound philosophy, one the Sith Code embraces. Slogging through the forest to hunt you down was going to be the worst part of this job. It's so much easier when the targets come to us. This doesn't need to end with violence. Violence is the Geno Harridan style. The Geno Harridan? I thought you were just a myth. That's because we never leave witnesses. End like this. The beacon destroyed, comm signal still jammed, and a fierce storm coming our way. The Geno Harridan must have a camp nearby. We can ride out the storm there. It's likely the camp is heavily guarded. Look at this as an adventure. That is not reassuring. Looks like the storm's not letting up anytime soon. I say we grab a shuttle and head out now. The interference will disable comms and scanners, not to mention the risk of an electrical surge frying our circuits.
Sean, I just heard the news. Let me express my sincere condolences. SIS reporting has gone downhill since I left. The commander is missing, not dead. Don't let foolish hope blind you. You are leaderless, as are the Sith. Someone must step in to fill the void. Forgive me, but aren't you the former Republic Chancellor? You've already served your term. True leaders don't need titles to hold power. I want what your leader wanted, to defeat Valen. Join me, and we can finish what she started. Pass. I've had more than my fill of working with you. You're still grieving. Eventually, you'll realize I'm right. Storm be damned. The time for patience is past. Let's find the commander. Small part of me is enjoying this. As Empress, I'm rarely able to test my martial skills anymore. I prefer to lead by example. Stay on the front lines. Among the Sith, being on the front lines just makes it easier for someone to stab you in the back. That was too close. The lightning strikes can be deadly out here. If we recalibrate the electrical towers, they will draw in the power of the storm and keep us safe. I cannot decide which is stranger, that the Geno Haridan are real, or that they're hunting us. We should be flattered. The Geno Haridan only accept contracts worthy of their skills. This is one compliment I could do without.
I fear the storm is getting worse. Good. It'll cover our approach to the Geno Harridan camp. I see why the Alliance follows you. Where others see problems, you see opportunity. Bodies at the crash site. The Sener, the Alliance Commander. No, our people. That means the targets are still out there. Find them. Found out why Grex Squad didn't check in. Lightning strike. Survivors? None. All of them fried to a crisp. Salvage whatever gear you can, and keep moving. Status report. Any sign of the targets? No visual contact yet. Hard to track them through the storm. Rain's wiped out the trail. Keep looking. Find them before they find us. I suppose a shuttle was too much to hope for. I found something. It's not enough to simply crash the shuttle. I want to see the bodies. No bodies, no bonus. Chancellor Suresh, that Republic snake. Suresh is no longer in charge of the Republic. True, but Intelligence believes she still holds significant power. Into the temple! I'm sure there's another way out. Looks like we have some exploring to do. Lead the way, Commander. Reports from Drome and Kaas claim the Outlander is dead. No. Father's spirit is still rattling around in there. His little pet is alive. 
The truth is irrelevant. The rumors have thrown the Alliance into disarray. Now is the perfect time to strike. Odessan is too heavily defended. That doesn't change just because their precious outlander is missing. Odessan is not the target. Sith Lord. I once thought these ancient temples held the secrets to immortality. I was wrong. You seem to have found a way. The body is just a shell, a vessel for the spirit. Emperor of the Sith was my first face, but it is merely one of many I have worn. And what about the face you wear now? I found Valkorion centuries ago. He was a great warrior, a champion of ancient Zakul. It was only natural I hollow him out to use as my vessel. I saw potential in the primitive world, so I raised it to perfection. I see plenty of flaws in Zakul. The glory of the Eternal Empire has been tainted by my children. But it can be restored. When you take the throne, you will understand. We still need to go deeper if we hope to find another passage to the surface. Hey, one. Now's not a good time. This can't wait. Suresh just sent a message. She's heading here, to Odessan. Seems she didn't wait for us to change our minds after all. Send her pack in the second she lands. Some of the troops want to hear her out. They aren't sure the Alliance can last. There are rumors about the Commander. Remind them where their loyalties lie. Stall Suresh. We're on our way. Minister Lawman warned us you might sneak off. This reminds me of my earliest trials as an apprentice. 
clearing vermin from tombs on Corriban. Sounds like you missed those days. It was a simpler time, but I am not nostalgic for the past. I see a glorious future for us both. The ancient Sith Lords are revered on Droman Kass. But to move forward, we must abandon the old ways. Easy to say, harder to do. I understand your skepticism, but I will prove myself to you in time.
Don't you know it's rude to make me come out in a storm like this? We should just seal the passage behind us, trapping you in here forever. Not an option. Suresh wants the corpses. No bodies, no bonus. So you traded groveling to Asina for groveling to Suresh. You're pathetic, Lorman. It's Minister Lorman, and I don't answer to Suresh. We're partners. To Suresh, you're just a lackey. She'll turn on you the first chance she gets. The Alliance Commander is right. But if you surrender now and beg for mercy, I might let you live. It's not Lorman's call. The Geno Harridan always finished the job. No witnesses! Feel my wrath. I brought them right to you. Now finish them! Stay back! I've taken your friends hostage! Anything happens to me and they're dead! This is Minister Lawman. Let me speak to the prisoners. Oh, hello, Lawman. This is who you sent to capture us? I'm a little offended. I'm glad you're both safe. You gave us quite a scare. It's good to hear your voice. I knew you weren't dead. Never doubted it for a second. Suresh is behind this. Has she attempted to reach you? She's done more than that. Suresh wants the Alliance, Commander. She's on Odessa as we speak. Hold tight. I'm on my way. You are my guest. Would you like to execute the traitor, or should I? It's time to embrace new methods, Empress. Be merciful, and you'll have a loyal servant for life. Unsatisfying, but I will try it your way.
Members of the Alliance, as many of you have already heard, your commander is dead. There are dark times ahead, but fear not. I have come to offer you a beacon. I assume you know everything, then. Admit what you did. I want to hear you say it. And give you the satisfaction. The Alliance needs a leader like me. I saw an opportunity and I took it. I won't apologize for that. We are well beyond apologies. What do we do with her? Execution, I expect. It's what Valen would do. It's what I would do. That's the difference between us. You get to live. Though you'll be in an Alliance prison for a long, long time. Take her away. You have no idea how happy I am. Empress Asina is waiting for your call, Commander. We'll meet you in the war room. Never believed you were really dead, Commander. Not even for a second. Can't con a con artist, right? By the way, if anyone contacts you asking about a life insurance policy that paid out in your name, just say you don't know me, okay? Good to see you back in one piece, Commander. Don't know what the Alliance would do without you. Seeing you standing here, alive and well, I can't believe I almost fell for Suresh's lies. Welcome home, Commander. I apologize for everything on Droman Cuts, but I still believe we should unite your people with mine. You've proven yourself, Asina. I accept your offer. That doesn't mean you're home free. We're watching you. Knowing Theron, not even your Holonet activity is safe. Remind me to change my access codes. I look forward to working with you. aboard the gravestone. We got your back, Radala. You okay? We've taken heavy damage. Need to make emergency repairs. Roger that, Radala. We'll bring your freighter on board. Just hold tight. Much appreciated, Koth. Looking forward to meeting you in person. <laughs> 